Well, I wanted it for the money, I guess. Yes. I, I, in those days, you weren't. I was. Nobody was very crazy about the scream. Yes. At least I wasn't. Yes. Except Mary Pickford. Yes. I adored Mary Pickford. Did, did you know her well, Miss Melly? Mary. Pick I got to know her well because she sent for me while I was on the contract. Yes. She said she wanted me in the first picture she was to produce. Uh huh. And I did. I did uh, Garrison's finish for her. It was her picture. Yeah, she she produced it. Uh huh. Uh, and it was with her brother Jack. Jack Pickford, yes. Uh -huh. And that was an interesting experience because we used to spend a lot of time over at Douglas Fairback set, and then I got to know her mother. Yeah, Ma uh, uh, Lottie Pickford. Lottie. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, it was an interesting experience. And, and what kind of a person did you? Mary Pickford was was the biggest silent female star. What kind of a person did you find her? Uh, well, I just worshipped her. I had had a whole book of her pictures, you know, when I was younger. Yes. And so I just adored her, and I was certainly astonished that when she got out on the floor and took the hem of my skirt, she she. I wore her old dresses in the picture. Yes. And she, I was a little taller. And she had to let out the hymns. And she got out on the floor. And she? And did it herself. <laughs> it shows she, even if she was a big star, she, she was all right, yeah? Well, she certainly was not. And I told her, oh, I thought she was so beautiful. Oh, she said, I'm not beautiful. She said, uh, it's my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and she told me how to fix my hair. Yes. And the way you did, it took a one of those kid curlers, and you took a hunk of your hair and you wrapped it around the roller three times close to your head. Then you began at the end with another kid curler and rolled it up. For heaven's sake, that's so how... each one, you had two kid curlers on each curl. Yes. And so she did it for me the first time. So the next day she said, my hair just looked lovely. And I said, but Mary, I couldn't sleep with that. <laughs> she said, well, neither can I. <laughs> she said, just hold your hand under your head. Yes. I can you imagine that? I guess that's the price you have to pay for being a big star. Yeah, but she didn't think anything of it. <laughs> and it, well, she certainly was not uh, in any way impressed with herself. She was not. Not at all. No, no. It was remarkable. I tell you, the person that impressed me most was Charlie Chaplin. Ah. Uh, Oh, now, now, a wonderful person. Now, now, how did you, did you know him through Douglas and Mary? No, I met him later through, through Neil Vanderbilt. Oh. They were quite close friends. And whenever he'd come to, come back here from New York or wherever he'd been, why, well, I'd see him. Yes. You know, on, on, and, um, and what impressed you so much about Charlie Chaplin? Well, when I first met him, it was a... It was early in my career, and I don't remember who. I think Sam Goldwyn introduced me to him yes. at a party, and then Charlie had me go to a lot of parties that he went to. Yeah. Although I was not his uh, girl. girl. Yes. Uh, his brother used to come after me. Sid. Uh, Sid. Yes. Uh huh. And we'd go to these parties, and they, uh, he would. Uh, we did charades. Yes. And some of them were so funny, and, and Charlie would choose me to be his uh, uh, double. I mean, we could do this grown boys. So yes, we, yes. And some of them were very, very funny. And the funny things Charlie would do at parties, he he danced nude with a balloon in front of him. Well, of course, he was not nude, but, <laughs> <laughs> but he pretended to be. Yes, yes. And, it was so, and then, he, then he was uh, midget. Well, he he put a table in the doorway and reversed his coat. Yes. And put his shoes on his hands. For heaven's sake. So, so you didn't see his feet. So he so he was a midget, and he would dance on the table with his hands and his shoes. A, a real genius, wasn't he, Miss? Wasn't he? He really was. It, it was just you know, it was just make it hysterical. Yes. Yes. But uh, some other four people were just as funny to be with with Marx Brothers. Yeah, yes. Uh, I, when I would be around them, I'd go home, my face feel like it'd be cracked. From laughing, huh? Eh? Laughing. <laughs>